Okay, guys. Well. Say the line, Bart. I'm either way going to be an unwinnable matchup, pretty much. I know you guys haven't heard that in a while, you know. Yeah! It is either gonna be Leeson or Irelia mid. I've been trying out this, uh, like, I've been wanting to try out this Bruiser Katarina build. It involves, like, Divine Sunder, Wit's End, Starax, Titanic Hydra, um, Death Dance. That's, like, all the items that you'd build. This game, I don't really know what item I should rush, honestly. It might even just be a Bork Rush angle. Not too sure. Please be Leeson mid. I'd rather versus a Leeson than Irelia. Surprise, motherfucker! No. It's still fun. I. Uh, I'm going AD, so maybe this lane's winnable. He has four stacks in his passives in the queue. This one get a fifth. Yep. This is how the I rally matchup goes. She just owns you for the first few levels. I mean, honestly. She owns you the entire game, I would say. Let's hope Jose Diodo ganks mid here, eventually. The only way we'll win. I mean, he's a good jungle, so. I mean, he doesn't have Ignite, so his kill pressure is just not as good. Wave is fine. All right, we won. Wave is fine for me. Is it a Bork Rush game? I think it is. They're full AD as well, so I'm gonna have Bork Tavi. I mean, let's not pretend that Irelia cares if you have armor or not, but. Tragic. I cannot believe the Nautilus didn't die to my red buff before he queued me. That's crazy. If he dies there, that means he can't hook me, which means he can't auto me afterwards, which means I don't get hit by that really sudden I don't die. So that's just very unlucky. Still in a really good spot though, because once we have the Bork, then I'd say mid lane's just over. Like, yeah, this guy got the shutdown on me, so he got 600 gold, but I don't think anything he gets here is going to allow him to beat me. And of course, it's going to be really annoying if he gets a Vamp Scepter here, which he probably will. It's going to be annoying because I probably won't ever be able to kill him once he gets that. He's just going to heal up way too much because it applies on his Q, so yeah. I really need help in mid. He's 6 now, and Nautilus is coming. To wait for my uh, my kindred. Can't really walk up. Just gonna hang around mid. Obviously, playing with my old teammate too. Lost. Played on TSM Academy with him now. Now he's on LCS. <clears throat> he's smurfing. TSM is doing pretty well this split, so I'm happy. Yeah, that's really good. We have our Bork now, but I think I'm just gonna hard shove this wave and then. Try to reset. I doubt she's gonna freeze this. Oh, but I will. Ah, uh, he will. So sad. I think he's fine on bot. Oh, he's gonna be pushing towards me actually. So we can get the cannon. Nice.
Nice. Really good job, Lawrence. That ult saved my life. Sadly, I like wasn't... Dude, I just hate versing Irelius, man. It's so cringe just not being able to fight her, even if you're super fed. If you give me 10-0 as Katarina and Irelia will be like 0-10, as long as she has one item and you have like three items, she can still fucking be 1v1. It's very sad, but that's just how it is. Nice. She couldn't fight me there. Oh, I'm griefing hard. They win this though. Like, you see how close that is, bro? Like, that's crazy. How close that was. Just TP mid. Nice, they're just giving me up mid tower here, Aurelia's top. Really good. Dude, I get... I don't know, man. Got auto-attacked by the Nautilus, so I couldn't move. Then he queued me, couldn't move again. Oh, the FF? Dude, I really wanted to... I really wanted to get to like at least two or three items. So sad. I will honor Lawrence for being tilt proof. Plus 20. Really climbing most damage in the game. But yeah, TLDR, playing Cat into Irelia is not fun, even when you're fed. And build doesn't matter either. Like, I could have been Nash's Tooth Katarina and I would still... Uh, I would actually do less damage to the Irelia, believe it or not. You're pretty much like bound to lose 1v1 as Cat versus Irelia. If the Irelia player is good, it's going to be very hard to kill them ever. In fact, it's going to be really easy to die. Yeah, so I'll just like recap the build that I was going to do. So it was going to be Bork into Sunder, And then since they're all AD, I was probably going to go Death Dance third. Um, it's just a build that I'm like trying out more, right? I'm experimenting. So usually you would get like Bork and then Sunder and then... Uh, situational item, right? So that would either be Wit's End versus lots of AP, or Death Dance versus lots of AD, or you can even just go Steric's Gauge. Um, you can even rush Wit's End some games, believe it or not, if you're versing like a double AP mid jungle. So it's like Bruiser, Bruiser ish Katarina build is like not bad. It's just every item's like situational, you know? And I've yet to have a game where I actually get like two to three items. It's very sad. Every every game that so far that I've tried this build, it FF said like two items, not even. So it sucks, but I wanna I wanna keep on like trying out this build. I think it can be really good. I think it has potential. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. So drop a like below if you enjoyed. Leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for watching. I love you.